latest trigger from Timney is for Smith & Wesson M&P pistols. Well, for Timney, it's all about elevating the platform to help you be a better shooter. The reason why we chose the M&P was because our customers asked for it. They call us up and say, hey man, I've got this wonderful pistol. A Smith & Wesson M&P is a wonderful pistol. I want to become more accurate with it or elevate the platform. Can you guys build a trigger for it? What did we do this Smith & Wesson? Well, we looked, at the, we looked at the design, we looked at the platform. Calvin and his team said, can we make a flat face trigger, which they really wanted. They wanted a quick reset. What parts can we put together? What coatings can we use? What angles can we use? What springs can we use to make sure that it gets exactly what the customers are asked for? My first reaction to making a trigger for the M&P 2.0, very good handgun. All the areas we thought we could improve on the M&P trigger was eliminating the polymer trigger shoe and going to an uh, aluminum and then um, redoing the sear for the geometries on the sear to reduce the pull weight. Three poundish trigger pull, a flat facing trigger, and a trigger that is smooth, that's gonna last the, dur the endurance of the entire you know, career with that handgun. Because our, our, our warranty is pretty simple. We got a lifetime guarantee. You know, we want you to, when you buy a Timney, we're not going anywhere. We've been here for 76 years. So we, we honor that. If you got any problems with our triggers, give us a call. We'll either fix it or send you a new one. When Tibney did their Glock trigger last year, it was their first handgun trigger. Been in the business of triggers for 76 years, but they're just diving into the handgun side of things. Well, they learned a lot from that, and now they have a new one for Smith & Wesson M&Ps. It's a big deal because a lot of you have those guns and love those guns. So what do you need to know about this trigger? Well, it's a Timney, which means it's going to elevate the platform, it's easy to install, it's got a flat face, and that was a choice made because they heard from a lot of customers saying that's what they wanted. They wanted a flat face trigger. It still kept that hinged design, which if you've got an M&P and you love the trigger, you probably are used to that feel and like that. So I kind of like that they did that. Does it fit the Gen 1 and the M2.0 versions? Yes. Does it go in a shield? No. So this is for kind of regular full-size M&Ps as, as far as what I would call it. Um, performance center, yes. Standard, yes. Let's take a few shots. So when you press this trigger, it kind of comes to a wall like you, like you would expect. Comes to the wall, breaks. And the reset on this is very crisp and I would say shorter. It's a very quick reset, so you can shoot a little bit faster. I have the trigger pressed to the rear. Let's reset it. That was it. That's, that's all the trigger movements that, that's required. Obviously, there's a little bit more play as you let your finger off, but let's just shoot a little bit more. And if you're resetting it in recoil, like you should be, you can shoot this pretty fast. There you go. New from Timney. It's a new Timney trigger for M&P pistols.